Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my beloved brothers and sisters I'm very happy to announce that we are going to complete the Salah series today I'm very sorry that I haven't uploaded a video since 7 days a week uh, Actually I'm quite busy So I'm really sorry Inshallah this will not happen again Inshallah with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So that starts Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Assalamu ala Rasul al-Kareem Muhammad al-Nabi wa alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in We start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We send please salutation blessings to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam His companions and his household So the last video was Salah series Sunnah acts in Salah or the voluntary acts in Salah So regardless of the three types which are the voluntary, the Sunnah, the Wajib and the Farad Leaving this is also one other thing that is voluntary things which is reading the dua and sujood reading the dua after supplication after Dharuda Ibrahim or Dua Ibrahim and doing zikr of Allah in ruku and while standing up in Qiyam we can also add some more like thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this position so today let's look at uh, the end of the series that is what are the good behaviors, the manners, the akhlaq you should follow inside a masajid or a madaris or the oh the other thing we will be doing is pointing out the easy simple mistakes in salah salah and the namaz and the simple mistakes in salah if you look and go on the mistakes, there are n number of mistakes which most of the most believes to, but these are the most important ones. So, point to us, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam entered the masajid, then a man entered and prayed, and then he came and greeted. So, I had said this in my first video, it is in Sunnah and Nisa, Sahih, it is great as Sahih. So, in this thing, the man might have been praying too quickly, that is in Ruku and Sujud, and there is one other hadith of Prophet Salam reported by Hadith Aisha, the mother of believers, Ummul Mu'minun, that uh, Prophet Salam said, uh, the worst of the stealers are those who steal in the Salah. Hazrat, uh, mother Aisha asked, how in how can someone steal from Salah? So Prophet Salam replied, they do not do the Sujud and the Ruku properly. So the second mistake is moving around excessively. In the Quran, chapter number 27, verse number 1 and 2, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Certainly the believers have succeeded. Those who during the prayer are humbly submissive. So like moving your hands and uh, scratching, yeah, you, you are allowed to scratch, but only scratching it many times at the same spot. The namaz, the salah is a qurbani. It is an act by which you are forgetting every act of dunya. You're doing it for the sake of Allah. You're doing it for Sabillah. So, uh, always remember that do not overestimate the Salah. Do not do things which are uh, which in normally you do. Salah is something different. So, don't do the things which you do normally. For example, I have seen with my own eyes. Astaghfirullah, may Allah help each and every one of us. May Allah protect each and every one of us. They are scratching their private part in Salah while they were while the Imam was reciting Al Fatiha. Astaghfirullah. We cannot say anything to these people. We should be perfect first ourselves. So scratching itchiness will be there, but for the sake of Allah, it's only for five minutes, nothing will happen. It's not like some infection will uh, just spread out. It's not like that. So the next thing preceding the Imam, the Prophet reported in Sahih al Bukhari said the Imam is to be followed, so bow when he bows and raise your head when he raises the head. And another hadith of Sahih al-Bukhari, the Prophet said, Isn't he the Imam who raises his head, uh, sorry, isn't he the man who is praying be behind the Imam, raises his head before the Imam, afraid that Allah may transform his head into that of a donkey, or his feces into that of a donkey? That is, Allah, uh, the Prophet saying his figure that, figure face is uh, he will turn into donkey so this means that it's your salah will be correct even if you rise before the imam or you do the salam before the imam but your correction of the salah won't be correct your salah will be accepted that's upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept you cannot add anything on that but following the imam and going into sujood after the imam completes allah akbar or rising from uh, the ruku after imam says sami allah completes the sami allah liman hamida so this is a part of sunnah actually so the next uh, mistake is incorrect sujood 
The Prophet said in Sahih al-Bukhari, We have been ordered to prostrate on seven bows and not to tuck up the clothes or the head. So, uh, the meaning is the in shirt which you wear. Actually, it's, uh, it's actually a, what to say, the dispute between the scholars whether the tuck in shirt will, the salah will accept. The salah acceptance is upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you just pray. But this hadith of Prophet is uh, about that time when they used to wear long shirts. Our shirts are too uh, small. So I go with the scholars who say that we can tuck in but this hadith says that we shouldn't so why to you know why to just say it might be prophet is referring that we cannot spread our hands properly if the shirt is not tucked because they used to wear long shirts so next is resting four forearms on the ground like a dog so in sunnah al nisa it is great sahi prophet ordered not said he ordered do not rest your forearms on the ground like a dog when prostrating the other mistake is not covering the aura. Now, as you know, the auras I have explained in the other video. And failing to do taqbir al-ihram. Allahu Akbar. So some people, they forget to say Allahu Akbar. Even if a small voice, it's enough. Do not, do not shout Allahu Akbar. Even a small voice which testifies the taqbir al-ihram. First taqbir. Very important. Looking around during the prayer. Yes, it is not a fard to look uh, straight down. It is a sunnah. But Prophet Islam, there is a hadith of Prophet Islam in the Sahih Al Bukhari, created as Sahih, the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said, How is it that some people raise their eyes toward the sky during Salah? He stressed and uh, added, People must refrain from raising their eyes towards heaven in Salah, that is the skies. Or else the sight will certainly be snatched away. Meaning, by looking here and there, we cannot concentrate on Salah. Uh, we, our mind can go anyway, any way actually. Because there are some things we shouldn't be thinking, but we think. So in Salah, at least we shouldn't do it. So these are some common mistakes in Salah. The next is good manners in Salah. What are the good manners? How is good manners added in Salah? Doing it properly. This is a good manner. That's it. Nothing else. Doing it properly. Best way you do it. As if there, there is an hadith of Prophet Islam which says, Read your salah as if it is the last of yours. And what are the good manners in Masajid and Madaris? Madaris is a place where uh, they teach Quran al Karim and they teach hadith. So in Madaris, you should not uh, raise your voice and run. Whereas in Masajid, Masjids, Mosque, you are not allowed to run again nor neither to raise the voice except in salah when you say ameen because it is a sunnah of prophet Islam. some of the scholars do not agree but some do and um, the other good manners is to refrain from bringing the children below the age of five after five it's okay but below five no it's not okay and other your slippers how you arrange them there are counters in masajid please go and give it there the way you park your vehicle, the way you walk in masjid, the way you greet the imam or the mutahim or the uh, other people, your friends or someone. It's your masjid. You go to your area's masjid and you see someone new. Go to him. Greet him. Ask him from where he is. This will increase the brotherness, brotherhood of Islam, brotherhood of Muslims. Other... Uh, other good manners to be followed are in uh, the wudu khana or the place you do wudu in masjid. Please do not sit to the uh, very end or the very opening because these are the places reserved for the old age men. The men who come to masjid and they are too old. Look, you are young. You can walk till the middle of it. There is no, no, no big deal for you. But they have a bigger deal. They cannot walk till there. So please keep in mind, before you start doing your wadu, choose a seat which is in between, not to the uh, extremely open or not to the extreme end, end to end, but in between. And help the old men in bringing the chairs to sit down or help them in getting up. Ask them to do dua for you, the supplication, supplicate for you because Prophet Islam said, increase the number of people you make the dua. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can, who knows Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
can accept the duas from host mom. So this was the Hakiki Prophet Salam. This was some manners and Alhamdulillah we have completed the Salah series. Next we will be moving on fasting or fasting in Ramadan which is a pillar or Zakat which is a pillar of Islam. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.